Looking to stake a claim on some security wisdom in a hurry? Well, you're in luck, Keyboard Cowboy. It's time for another Black Hills Information Security Nugget. Learn how to snare trespassers with cyber deception. Brought to you by Black Hills Information Security. Now here's John Strand. Hello and welcome. My name is John Strand. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about honey files, or at least a part of honey files that many people don't deal with. Now, there's a lot of great things out there from Canary. Uh, Canary Tokens is a fantastic website. We have another video where we talk about that, where you can have a file itself trigger whenever someone accesses that file. And that's cool. But did you know you can also put in rules in your file server on specific files and folders that if anybody accesses those files, it also generates an alert? Once again, we're going to be using the ADHD virtual machine that we use in my Pay What You Can Cyber Deception class. And we're going to be creating a funny little folder called Secrets. So let's go ahead and let's say new folder. Let's call it secrets, like so. And then when we're in the secrets folder, we're going to go ahead and create a little file called secrets.txt. Let's go ahead and secrets.txt. That'll do. So now we have a secret secret. Now, when you do this, you can do it with an Excel spreadsheet. You can call it passwords. You can call it credit card numbers. You can do a number of different things to actually set this up. Once again, I'm following the instructions that are out on GitHub. You can do this with the VM. You can download it. Just Google John Strand Virtual Machine, give you the virtual machine and full instructions to do everything that I'm doing. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to access the local security policy on this computer system. Once we are in the local security policy, we're going to select local policies. Then we're going to select audit policy. Once we are in audit policy, we need to enable object access, right? So we need to set this up so we are, in fact, doing that auditing. Now, a lot of people freak out about this because they're worried about, you know, the amount of events that will be generated. If you're trying to audit every single file on your computer system, it's going to generate a tremendous amount of logs. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to focus it on just the secrets file in our secret folder because we only want it to trigger when someone accesses the secrets. Path. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to select properties. Once we are in properties, we're going to select the security tab. Once we have done that, we're going to select advanced. Once we have selected advanced, we're going to go to auditing. We want to continue because we are administrators on this system. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually enable the auditing on this particular system. So we're going to go through and we have permissions, auditing, and then we're going to need to select a principle. So we're going to go ahead and add. And then when we select a principle, it's going to be all of the users on this particular computer system or everyone. Um, and it's funny because everyone on a Windows computer system is like anyone anywhere. And we're going to set it up for read, execute. Let's go ahead and do modify and write on this particular one, basic permissions. And we're going to select OK. We have set it up. I probably should set it up so it's all set to full control on this. Let's go ahead and edit. Select full control. There we go. That's better. And now I'm going to click apply. I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK. And now we have auditing enabled on our file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply open the secrets file and type something. There you go. Um, so now I've typed something. And I'm going to go File, Save. Now we have something in the secrets file. We have something secret. Next, we're going to go into the Windows event logs. We're going to go into Event Viewer. And we're going to go to the security logs on this particular system. We'll go Windows security. And once we get into the security file, we're going to look specifically for 4656 right here, file system. Um, so if we go down, we should see right here, event viewer, access that one. Now, right here, we can see audit success. We can see that somebody accessed the note with notepad.exe, the uh, secrets.txt file on this particular computer system, um, which is awesome, right? So we have that auditing enabled on that specific file. Great. Now we can get any and all alerts specifically for that file. Now you would want to put in a rule in your SIM specifically to this file. 
because you don't want to audit absolutely everything in your system. You want to throw as much as you can away with event logs that don't really like are applicable for actual IR or initial detection. So this is a quick, easy way that you can utilize to kind of kind of couple this with a honey doc with something like um, Canary tokens from Canary. Utilize this for the local alerting, and then you have double alerting on this file. You have alerting if somebody opens the file, and you have alerting if somebody actually accesses or even looks at the file as well. So that is our quick nugget. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and check out our training at AntiCypher. So again, my name is John Strand. I hope to see you again in a new video. If you stuck around this long, like and subscribe to get more Black Hills InfoSec nuggets. And check out these other videos while you're at it. See you on the range, keyboard cowboy.